Can you guess what this picture is? Correct! It is a microscope. Good day learners! Welcome back to my class. For this video, we are going to talk about microscope. For our most essential learning competency, you should be able to identify parts of the microscope and their function. Are you ready to learn? Let's go! The branch of science that deals with the study of life is known as biology. One of the tools that scientists use to study life is a microscope. With the invention of microscope, we are able to understand life even better. But what is a microscope? Microscope is a tool that is used to see organisms or objects that are too small to be seen by the naked eye. The microscope makes these small objects look bigger. Some of the tiny objects or organisms that can be seen using a microscope are the following. Plant cell, animal cell, and microorganisms like bacteria. The science of investigating very tiny organisms and small objects using the microscope is called microscopy. To understand how microscope works, we need to be familiar with two terms, magnification and resolution. When we say magnification or magnifying power, it describes how much larger an object appears when viewed. Example, observe the structure of an onion cell. Pointed by an arrow, as you can see, it is very small. If you want to see it better, you can increase its magnification to see the structure better. X is resolution or resolving power. It is the capacity of the microscope to distinguish small gaps between two separate points which human cannot distinguish. It is used to see the finer details of an object. Example, the sample shows a comparison between a low-resolution and high-resolution image. A high-resolution image shows a finer details of a plant cell. There are different types of microscope, but for this lesson, we are going to focus on compound microscope. A compound microscope is an optical microscope that uses visible light to form an image. It uses glass lenses to magnify and resolve images. But why is it called a compound microscope? This kind of microscope is called compound microscope because it uses two or more double convex lenses to magnify the object. These lenses can be found on the eyepiece and objectives of a compound microscope. A compound microscope comprises three major parts based on their functions. Magnifying, illuminating, and mechanical parts. Let's first talk about the magnifying parts of a compound microscope. The magnifying parts of the microscope make the specimen look bigger. A specimen is a part or sample of any material for study or examination under the microscope. Specimens should be small and thin for light to pass through them. First magnifying part is the eyepiece or ocular lens. This is the lens located at the top of the microscope. This is where the viewer looks and sees the magnified image of the specimen. The eyepiece also magnifies the image of the specimen. Its standard magnification is 10 times. The image seen on the ocular lens is inverted. The image is inverted because it goes through two lens systems and because of the reflection of light rays. Next are the objective lenses. Just like the eyepiece, 
Its job is to magnify specimen under observation. These are the major lenses used for specimen visualization and magnification. Most compound microscope has three objectives. Some have four. The typical objective lenses are the following. Low power objective. It has a magnification power of 10 times. It is used to see the general outline of the specimen. High power objective. It has a magnification power of 40 times. It is used to view structures from a larger perspective. Oil immersion objective. It has a magnification power of 100 times. It is the longest objective used to view bacteria, very small protists, and fungi. It requires the use of special oil such as quality cedar wood oil. Some microscope have scanner objective. It has a magnifying power of 5 times. It is the shortest objective. Remember, the magnification of a specimen can be calculated by multiplying the number found in the eyepiece with the number found on the objective being used. So, if a specimen is viewed using a 10 times objective and a 10 times eyepiece, it will be magnified 100 times. Next are the illuminating parts. The word illuminate means to give light. Therefore, these are the parts of the microscope that supply and regulate light towards the specimen. First is the mirror. It reflects light from an external light source up through the bottom of the stage which illuminates the specimen. The light source can be natural like sunlight or artificial from a lamp. Next is the iris diaphragm. It is located under the stage. This part controls the amount of light that reaches the specimen. This is important because it provides enough light in viewing the specimen. Also located under the microscope is the condenser. This part collects and focuses the light from the mirror to the specimen. Let's now explore the mechanical parts of the microscope. These parts are used for support and in adjusting the different parts of the microscope. Body tube. It holds the eyepiece lens and connects it to the objective lenses. Revolving nose piece. It holds the different objective lenses and facilitates the changing of objectives. It is the part that you turn to change the objective lens you want to use. Adjusting knobs. These are used to focus the microscope. There are two types of adjusting knobs. The bigger adjusting knob is known as coarse adjustment knob. It moves the body tube and low power lens closer or farther away from the stage to view the image of the specimen. The smaller adjusting knob is called the fine adjustment knob. It is used to bring the specimen into sharp focus to show clearly the detailed parts of the specimen. Stage The flat surface where the mounted slide is placed. A slide is where the specimen is placed for observation. Stage clip. It holds the specimen in place. Arm and base. The base serves as the support of the whole microscope. And the arm serves as the handle of the microscope in carrying it. When transferring the microscope from one place to another, we use our both hands and hold the arm and base. Inclination joint. It allows the user to tilt the microscope for more comfortable viewing, especially when you are in a sitting position. However, you must only tilt the microscope when you are working with dry specimen. 
And those are the different parts of a compound microscope and its function. The microscope has become an important investigation tool in studying objects and organisms around us. Knowing its parts as well as proper manipulation and care will make our study of science effective, interesting, and meaningful.